Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, my name is Han Liu, and I'm currently a postdoc researcher from Tsinghua University in China. And I will be talking about a research work on a statistical linker for study smart contracts. And uh, okay. So as a normal computer pro com computer programs, uh, smart contracts can have uh, smells such like. Uh, unused function parameters or uh, unprotected message cores and uh, maybe a delayed update which is vulnerable to a reentrancy attack. So these uh, smiles are not, not, are not necessarily causing any ca catastrophes, but these are something that you don't, you're trying to avoid in your smart contracts because uh, they, may, they can be stylistical errors or uh, uh, maybe they are not following the best practice. Some of them are bugs and uh, even security issues. So the most straightforward way to uh, capture and remove these smells would be when the developer finished their code, we can use a bunch of uh, analyzers, for example, uh, formal verifiers, st uh, static analyzers, to check this code and see if the bad code is there. And uh, if you're doing this uh, commonly, uh, you will need your code to be compilable in most cases. And uh, you should be aware of the predefined rules which tell the uh, anal analyzer what kind of thing they should be searching for. And what we're trying to do is that we want to make these checks earlier in the development uh, life cycle, and we want it to be in an uh, interactive way, which means that the developers can check their code even if they uh, haven't finished it, or even if they have no clue what the patterns look like. And to realize this idea, we have proposed the, the uh, SGRAM framework, which uh, exploits the naturalness of smart contract code. So the naturalness notion is actually uh, coming from the software engineering community, which uh, tells you that how natural or how irregular your code is with respect to a large collection of uh, other code. And uh, so we, wh what do we do with this uh, naturalness notion uh, in SGRAM is that given the contract code, we, are, we will use a parser to pass it into a token sequence, and based on this token sequence, we will build this lang statistical language model which captures the regularity of all the tokens, and uh, the language model will be able to answer the question whether the token sequence is uh, likely to occur in, the, in a specific context and then we can identify irregular code in the smart contract and uh, flag potential problems. So more specifically, the SGRAM framework works in a two-phase manner. In the first phase, uh, we will need a large collection of uh, smart contracts to train the model. To do that, we will use a static anal analyzer to extract uh, semantic metadata of, out of your contract. Uh, basically, we are trying to do two types of things and we can focus on the access on a storage data and also the flow sensitivity. So if we take a look at this uh, simple smart contract at these two lines of code, the analyzer will tell you that, oh, there are two, uh, these two lines of code are, are accessing on the same storage data called user balance and one of them is read operation and the other is write and these two operations are dependent on each other because they are from different public functions and are not commutative to each other. And in terms of uh, flow sensitivity, if we look at this kind of code, uh, the flow condition of this line of code includes constraints from the modifier and also the if statements. And the way we model flow, the flow, this flow is uh, by using the addresses and the operators involved in these uh, flow conditions. Uh, in this case, that will be, we will be using message sender and the two operators as specified here. And then we will use a tokenizer to uh, generate a token sequence from this uh, contract. And the, the generation is basically done by traversing the abstract syntax tree in a type-based manner, which means that we generate a corresponding token for a specific type of AST node. And then we will be training the model using an underlying engram model engine and to build this uh, statistical language model. And in the second phase, we pretty much do the same thing. And given the smart contract, we uh, generate the token sequences. And then we can use a detector to curate the language model before and then calculate the, calculate the regularity or perplexity scores of subsequences. And then we will highlight uh, top uh, candidates of these uh, smart contracts uh, with the highest uh, perplexity scores. And if you're trying to use this uh, candidate's information to help 
optimize existing uh, smart contract analyzers, for example, a, a symbolic execution engines, what you can do is to design this ranker which takes the candidate information and generates scores for all the information, all, all the functions in the contract, and then this scores will tell the symbolic executor which function is more buggy than the others, and then the symbolic executor can prioritize the exploration of a specific function with high scores um, so as to uh, detect vulnerabilities uh, more efficiently. And uh, in the future, we plan to uh, work on optimizations on the language models. For example, we are trying to figure out more efficient way to encode uh, both syntactic and semantic regularities. And also, we are considering porting SGRAM to more existing techniques. For example, form verification, static analysis, random fuzzing, something like that. And also, to create a better uh, developer experience, we are planning uh, integrate SGRAM, SGRAM with an IDE so that we can capture and model developers' feedback and optimize the SGRAM itself. And um, we actually have uh, published an academic paper about the SGRAM. If you guys are uh, interested, you can look into the details. And uh, I will be around, the offline, uh, uh, around here for offline discussions. And uh, that will conclude my talk. Thank you.